Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Robert Urban and I want to talk to you about gut health and the microbiome. For there is a new revolutionary and breakthrough knowledge that we can put to use for longevity and more importantly everyday health and forestalling health issues. But I wanted to make a video to introduce myself to show you that I'm a real person and that sort of thing. I'm a retired orthopedic surgeon who had a cardiac arrest uh, over a decade ago with plugged arteries and belly fat and metabolic syndrome and all that. Um, along the way, I medically retired and I became interested in the concepts of living longer. And I took up the task of seeing what's available. Recently, I discovered that Dr. Stephen Gundry, Gundry MD, has a program called the Plant Paradox Program. It's in a form of a book which you can get on Amazon, a link's in the uh, description below. But I wanted to give you two concepts to take away that uh, you must buy into or you're going to get bogged down in the swamp. First of all, gut bacteria make up the microbiome and just like uh, other organisms, they want their children to succeed, grow up, and reproduce. And in that way, and on to that end, they try to take over our bodies. And amazing things will happen, things I'm not going to discuss in this video, but it's, it's things like cravings after foods that you know are not healthy. Well, it could well be, and probably is your gut bacteria, wanting to be fed what they want. They can send hormonal signals to the brain. How about that? But anyway, you get the idea that the gut microbiome is out to feed itself, just like if you throw grass seed on the ground, that grass will want to take over all the surface area, if it can, and have its young, the new grass. The second concept is, and important, is that foods that we eat are many of the well-known so-called healthy ones are not good for us unless they're modified or they're not good for us at all. And I won't go into a great list, but uh, for example, tomatoes are in the nightshade family. You got to read the book to find out what we're talking about and why they may be uh, not so good for us, but there is a workaround in the case of tomatoes. So you get the idea. I'm going to be producing videos and uh, they will come out uh, every so often in support of the plant paradox concept and putting it forward. You can get into the description and should always read my description below because I may modify what I say in this video or add to it. So please read the description. Consider joining my channel uh, as more videos are coming and let's get on to the uh, concepts and practice uh, contained in the plant paradox. 